Hi, I'm going to show you this pretty cool website that Google has that you can actually program a computer to distinguish between objects. Um, it's, it's really cool. It's something to really play along with. Um, and I know you can use this for many other things, but as an elementary teacher, it's just kind of fun to be able to use a camera to distinguish between objects. So it's called Teachable Machine. It's put on by Google. So if you go to this website, you'll be greeted with this page. And what you need to do is start with at least two items. And I'm going to show you two, but you could do more. And what's cool is right here it says class one. I'm going to go ahead and name this pop. And if you're from the Midwest, you know that that is what everybody else calls soda. And I'm going to go ahead and use the webcam. I could upload images, but the webcam is really cool. So if I click the webcam, you'll be greeted usually with a, do you allow this to be used or whatever, but this is just use my webcam. I've used it before. And right down here, it says hold to record. So when I hold this button, the camera will start taking little stills, boom, 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 really quickly. And the computer will acknowledge those images and use them for comparative. So I'm going to step out so my face isn't in it. And I'm going to hold up my pop here. And I'm going to hold the record and I'm going to move it around a little bit so I can get all kinds of angles on it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to twist it and turn it. And I'm going to do some different angles. You don't have to be too crazy, but just get a good, good zone of it. And then I'm going to let go. So it took 195 images already. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set that down. Now I need something to compare it to. So I'm going to go to my second class right here, and this will be a candy bar. And I just happen to have this one here. This is giving you a glimpse into my reality. First I have this as a drink and this as a snack. So here we go. This is how tech people stay alive. I'm going to go down here to the second one, and I'm going to use the webcam again. I'm going to slide out just so I get a better image. I'm going to put it nice and close to the camera. Hold the button down and start recording. And I'm going to move it around a little bit. So I'm going to do about 195 so I get something pretty similar. It doesn't have to be exact, but there we go. So I got a bunch of those. All right, so this first item was my pop. The second one was candy bar. All right, now I'm going to train my computer here and I'm going to train the model and I click that button and what it's going to do is it's taking the pictures from the soda, the pot, and it's taking the pictures from the candy and kind of comparing them to be able to identify which is which. So let's we'll take a minute to do that. There we go. All right, now we're done. So now for the fun part. All I have to do you can see down here, it's identifying all kinds. It doesn't know what to do. It's jumping all over. If I get out of the picture, I don't know why it's saying a candy bar, but let's just watch this. If I just take my phone, for example, and I hold it up, it doesn't know what to do. Although it says it's a pop, that's strange. Sometimes things are weird. If I hold the pop up instantly, 100%, put it over, pop, put it over, pop, hold the candy bar up. Hold up a mouse. Doesn't really know, it is weird that it's registering as a pop. I've never seen that. How about some other candy? I don't know why it's registering that as a pop. That's strange. How about a stapler? And, oh. But as soon as I hold that candy bar up, 100%, I hold that pop can up without a doubt. So it's kind of a cool tool to be able to identify things. You could do it with other items. So I could go back down here and go to add class. And I could call this one a pencil. Then I'm going to use my webcam. Then I'm going to hold up a pencil. I like to get out just so that, there we go, and record. Like to get as many as you can in there. You could do far more. Maybe it would have been better if I'd have gone more than 190 something. I'm gonna train that model again. 
So now I've got three items, the pop, the candy bar, and now a pencil, and it's in the midst of training still. Okay, let's try it again. Now it's jumping all over because it doesn't know what to do, but if I hold the pencil up, let me get out of the picture, sorry. Without a doubt, pencil, candy, soda. It really doesn't want to know what to do with that, so that's interesting. I'll hold up my phone again. It's, you see how it's jumping all over, but boy, you hold that candy bar up, it knows for sure. You hold that pencil up. It knows for sure. You hold that pop up. It knows for sure. So how can this be used? When you can export this model right up here, it could be used for all kinds of coding things. Um, it's just kind of a cool, fun tool. So if you're looking for descriptors or adjectives or you're trying to describe things, it might be a good way to kind of use this tool. So just something to play with.